Renee with Steadfast Fitness. Today we are doing a total body dumbbell workout. It's going to be low impact, but some of the moves will be a little bit more challenging. We have light to medium weights, so about 10 pounds, 8 pounds, 5 pounds, and 3 pounds. Uh, if you want to increase the weight a little bit more and you've got that at home, go ahead and do so for the appropriate exercise. Uh, I'll give you guidance. If you don't have any weights, you might choose to just do the movements without weights. Some of them are hefty enough. Or you can use two regular water bottles or two large water bottles. Maybe fill them with sand uh, for a little bit more resistance. All right, that said, let's get started and have a great workout. Okay, everyone, starting with the warm up. Let's circle one arm back. <sighs> Breathing through. Let's go for four more. Three, two, take it to the other side. Seven. Knees nice and, nice and light, three, two, and knees up. So just pulling them up, relaxing the arms for now. We'll pull them in, take those arms up if you like and you're ready, and we're just gonna pull singles down, crossing one elbow to the knee. You'll feel those abdominals warm up a little bit. We're gonna get everything today. We're gonna hit all parts. Here's four, three, Two, hold the arms down and curl. Let's cross them across the chest. Yes, there we go. And nice and easy. Just keeping it loose and getting the body warm for work. Here's four, three, two, and one. Hold the legs, bring them together, and let's take the arms back and circle them back and up. So we're going to bend as we're down and circle them back and forward. Yes, keep the chest up, moving a little bit faster. Oh, we feel those arms warming up. Oh, yes, here's four more. Three, two, and one. Then hold the arms up and cross with the knees. Good, here we go. Eight, six, Four, get ready for those hamstring curls right here and crossing the arms. Five, three, two, and those skier swings, circling the arms back and around. Yep, there we go, there we go. And if we can, we'll just speed it up a little bit. Two and one, and relax it, shake it out a little bit. Let's take those legs out wide and just side to side. Just opening the inner thighs just a little bit. Toes forward, stretching out the inner thighs, keeping the chest up. Five, here's four, three, two, and one. Hold it down, walk the feet in just a little bit and let's inhale down and exhale around the spine coming up. And do it again, roll those shoulders back. Inhale down, and around the spine, coming up. Pulling that navel into the spine, there we go. Two more, inhale, and exhale as we come up. And one more, inhale, and exhale, coming on up. Before we grab the weight, we are going to use our arms and do it around the world. So, let's do it here. So my palms are facing in, part of the warm up, transitioning. And then I'm gonna come up, see how my palms facing back? And right, with, right before I get to the shoulder level, I'm gonna rotate palms facing out, and then up, straight up over the shoulders. As I come down, palms are facing forward, and then shoulder level, they start to rotate, thumb, thumbs down, and then back again. Let's do that again. Up, pinkies up, rotate here, thumbs up, Straight arms towards the ceiling, and then coming down, thumbs rotate down, and back. Let's do this one more time. I'm gonna add a caveat before we add weights. So we come on up, we rotate, palms face forward, arms stay up maybe. Arms stay up, and then we're gonna take one leg back into a lunge, and then the other leg back into a lunge, bending that knee, making sure it's at 90 degree angles. 
come back forward and then bring those arms down, rotating the thumbs down. All right, let's grab weights. I would suggest a little bit lighter, especially on the start. It's a big movement and it's going overhead. Anywhere from five to 10 pounds, I grab my fives. Okay, ready? Here we go. Up, rotate, palms face forward. We lunge back once. We lunge back twice, keeping the chest up, body up tall, and then bring it down. Thumbs rotate down at that halfway point. Bring it up. I stay up, lunge, good form, keeping that torso up and then come bringing it back down. Those wrists should not, should not bend at all, shouldn't be flimsy. Here we go. We can pick up speed a little bit more. And again, if those arms start to get tired, we'll just keep them down or maybe not go as deep in the lunge. We've got four more of these. Gonna try to go in eights today. All eight, eight repetitions. We've got three more lighter weight, right? Those arms get quite, quite fatigued from all this. Starting with a big movement like this. Two more here. Breathing, 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 breathing. Try to keep those arms straight. Good form, nice and control. One more, up, yes, come on. One, okay, all right, and back down. All right, switching to a little bit heavier of weight, we're going to go into rows, reverse rows. Take your breath, grab your water, reverse rows, palms facing forward, and then just rowing back. Make sure that back is in straight, it's not rounded at all. Lift, lift that tailbone. All right, let's do it. I'm gonna grab my tens. So a little bit heavier of the weight and I'm gonna face you from the side. Make sure your heart rate is calmed down enough after the last one. Bend those knees, palms face forward. Palms face forward, bend, 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 bend forward. Ready and elbows back. Keep those elbows real close to the sides. Good, here's five more. Slow and controlled, not tipping the, the wrists at all. Two, last one, one, okay. And relax it. Let's put that weight down. Maybe go to fives or eights. I just want a single weight. Let me bust a move and show you all these three movements before we go back from the top movement. So, we're gonna do a row with a lunge, a forward lunge. So let's lunge forward. Okay, and the opposite arm has the weight. All right, we're lunging forward. As we lunge forward, our arm is gonna go straight. And when we lunge, when we push back, we're gonna pull. All right? Let's keep it simple like that for now. Ready? Same leg, same arm. Let's go. Forward and then pull. Yes, and then pull, good. I've got eights right here. You can definitely go lighter if you need to. Let's go for four more. Three more, chest is up, no rotation in the spine. One more, oh, relax, take it to the other side. I stay up, opposite leg goes forward, take a breath. Bend that uh, elbow on that uh, opposite side. And here we go. Forward. There. Keep it breathing. That's it, four more. We just wanna get through this. That's it. Two, chest stays up. One, okay, did it. Now you know what's coming. We're gonna do two more sets, two more sets. We can do it. Grab that lighter weight or what weight you think you can do with the around the world and those back lunges. Okay, getting set, get ready. Let's do it. Let's rotate up and then two lunges back, keeping the chest up nice and tall and making sure that that front knee 
does not go past the toe. You don't need to bend down as much. You can definitely take a really, really small bend in those knees for the lunge. Yes, come on. Almost at that halfway point with these. Get ready, come on, two more, uh, four more. Yes, there we go. Oh, we've got it. Come on. These get super, super tiring, but we're so close. Yes. Almost there. We're at two more here. Come on. Here we go. Yes. And one more here. Let's do it. Oh. Last one. Woo! Okay. Let's go to those reverse rows. Okay. Have your weight. Please bend those knees if you're getting that weight from the floor or somewhere low. Okay. Take a breath. Make sure you're breathing. Make sure you get appropriate rest time and you're drinking that water as needed. Okay, here we go. Palms face forward, bending those knees, chest comes forward, back is straight, we row. Eyes stay up. Underhanded row. Here's four more. Good, back straight. And one, okay. Huh. So now we've got that lunge that lunge with a row. Okay, just a single, single weight. I've got my eight here. Grab what you need to. Opposite leg lunges forward. Get ready, set, and let's go. Good. Oh, we can do this with a smile. We can do it. As long as those eyes stay open, Three, good, two, last one. Oh, and let's take it to the other side. Take a breath, not going too fast. Taking it in steps. Get ready, let's do it. Yes, there we go. Here's four, bending that back knee. Both sets of toes are shooting forward. And last one. Oh, okay. All right, we'll leave that last set for the end. Let's learn first. So, giving ourselves a little bit more of a break. Guess what? We're gonna go down to the ground. I'm gonna grab lighter weights. We're gonna be doing flies on the ground, back flies. So I'll grab my fives. And let's show you these first. Hopefully that heart rate is down. If not, please pause the video and then come back when it is ready. Okay, so hands right underneath the shoulders. I'm holding on to these dumbbells. Let me start here, turning those toes under. Abdominals engaged, nothing is di dipped, nothing is rounded. All right, eyes are up, but the neck is almost in line with the spine, and we're gonna fly out to the side and back in. Okay, other arm, fly out to the side, shoulder level, and back in. So if this is hard enough for you, you're going to stay here. If you can come into plank, let's try it here. Try it with me, get ready. We're gonna fly out to the side, and then fly out to the side. What do you do if it's too hard? If you drop to the knee, let's fly. And fly. Okay, so pick one of those for now. And then I'm gonna change it. Get ready. All right, here we go. On your toes or on your knees, let's do it. Not too many. Seven. These get tough. Good, drop to the knees if you need to. 
three, two, one. Okay. Woo! Oh boy. Shake that out. Shake that out a little bit. We're gonna pop right back up. I'm gonna keep my fives for the next ones. All right. Keeping my fives, I'll keep my mat where it is. And what we're going to do is bend those elbows. Okay, you might wanna try it without weight first. And I'm going to do a lateral raise, arms at 90 degree angles, up to shoulder level. They're not in here. They're right in front of the elbows. I'm gonna rotate up. Okay, as they're up, I'm going to twist with two knees, one, opposite knee, two, rotate down, and then come back home. Take a breath, shake it out. So it's a lot, lots happening. Maybe do the first set without weight. Let's see. Okay, let's do it slow. All right, lateral raise up, rotate the arms up, two knees, one, doesn't matter which, two, rotate down, and then bent arm down. Get ready, do it again. Lateral raise up, rotate up, knees, Knees, not too big of a twist, not forcing anything, and down. Okay, we're not doing too many of these. Three more. Up, rotate. Knee up, knee up. I know I'm starting different every time. That's okay, as long as we do two knees, doesn't matter. Rotate. There we go. And down, one more. They start to tire out pretty fast. Rotate and down. Oh, okay. Ooh, shake that out. You know what? Mine are tiring out. I'm gonna go down to my threes. You can go to nothing or your threes. We're gonna go back down to the ground with those planks and flies. Let's do it. Remember, taking your time. If you're going too fast, it's not, mm, <laughs> you need a little bit, little bit more weight or, or to choose the harder version. And if that's the case, well, you're, you're pretty advanced. Okay, but this is, pretty, this is pretty tough stuff. So here we go. All right, you can stay here and fly out or get into plank. Get ready, get set, and go, fly out. Seven, six, just shoulder level. Here's four, three, last two, Last one. Oh, okay. Woo. Take a breath and let's go back to those lateral raises with rotation. So come on up. Maybe keeping lighter weight, maybe going up again. Catch your breath. Depends on you. I'm going to keep my threes. Okay, keep me honest. Get ready. Here we go. Lateral raise. Rotation, knee up, knee up, rotate down and take it all the way down. Five more, rotation, knee up, yes. Keeping those arms at 90 degree angles. I am definitely sweating quite a bit here. These are hard compound movements. We're doing, we're doing many things two or more things at once in one exercise. So it's hard, it's hard work. Let's do one more. Up, oh, I'm glad I switched to that lighter weight. Rotate and down, okay. Relax it out, shake it out a little bit. All right, we're gonna go a little heftier, changing up the movements again. Keep the eyes up, here we go. So let me show you the movement without weight. We're going to do tricep kickbacks with a lift. So if I have my dumbbells in hand, I'm gonna take one leg back, bring my body forward, with keeping my back in a nice straight line. And kickbacks are just where you're extending your arms. Make sure the wrists don't do something like this. Keep them really straight and then bring it back in. So as I'm here, 
When I lift my arms back into that kickback, I'm going to lift the leg as well. Some of you aren't going to want to do that. All right, so you'll just keep that leg down and that'll be enough work for the back of the standing leg. All right, and I'll give you a side view of this. Keep those eyes up. Keep the eyes up, All right? Coming forward, bending those, those elbows as much as possible. We'll just do six on each side. All right, taking that leg back, I'll stay somewhere in between intermediate, advanced, and beginning. Ready? Here we go. Lift. Six. Toe down. Back straight. Okay, let's take it to the other side. Get ready. All right, that leg is back, the elbow's up, back is straight. Let's do it. Balance. Good, two, one, oh, and relax. We're gonna just go right into that again. One more time. One leg back, bringing those elbows back, chest up, and here we go. Lift. Good. Two more. And one. Okay. Take it to the other side. Here we go. Nice balance. Maybe I'll do a side view again this time. Ready? And here we go. Just six. Let's do it. Remember to keep those toes down if you need to. One, okay. All right, good. Take a breath. We're gonna go down to the ground. So I've grabbed my eight pounds for these. We're gonna do a row with the plank. All right, those planks again, last plank. I know they're really tough, but I'll show you an option and we're going to do a knee to the elbow, or an elbow to the knee. Let's do it maybe without the weight first to show you. So, I need to knuckle it. Some of you, if, you need, if you've got fussy wrists like me, you knuckle it, or you can, if, you're, if your wrists are okay, spread those fingers out wide and go on the palms of your hands. Either way, your hands are right underneath the shoulders. Okay, so, we'd be holding the weights here if you choose to have weights. So we're gonna get into plank, holding plank here. You can be on your knees if you like or on your toes. I'll start on my knees. And we're just gonna row, row, renegade rows. And then, and then, I'd like you to get up on your toes and pick one knee to the elbow and then go to the same knee, same elbow and then back down, all right? If that doesn't work for you, you're just gonna hold uh, a plank without pulling those knees to the elbows. All right, so let's do it with weight. Now you know what we're doing. Hands right underneath the shoulders, maybe on the knees for the rows, maybe on the toes. Get ready, eight total. Let's go. Yes, there we go. Good, we've just got two more sets. Just two more. Eight total rows. Because these are tough. Come on, two more. Oh, okay. Woo, you got that. Oh boy. Oh, those are not easy. All right, we're gonna head on to our backs, okay, for a set of hammer presses and crush presses. This again, these are compound movements, so they're a little tougher than usual. So if you're getting more tired and are like, what am I doing? It's because there are double movements here, or triple movements, like this is gonna be. So first things first, let's see, learn the movements. We're gonna do a hammer press. So my arms are at 90 degree angles, my palms are facing in. So let's do that first. And a hammer 
And look, my weights aren't touching. I just uh, push it straight up, okay? So that's our hammer. So now I'm going to bring the weights in. I'm gonna get them to touch each other and I'm gonna do a crush press where my elbows are going out, bring the weights to the chest and then back up. I let go, hammer press and inhale down and exhale up for that crush press. All right, so what do I want? So I can keep my feet down. I can keep my legs up, okay, and do it that way. A little bit more challenging with the legs up and even more challenging, we're gonna just lower those legs just a little bit woo, until the abdominals are engaged, but that back isn't coming up off the floor. You've gotta keep the lower back down on the ground. Just this is enough. Some people are super duper, super duper advanced and wanna lower their legs even more. As long as you keep that lower back on the ground, whatever you do is great. If your back hurts, put those feet back on the ground. All right, so what we're gonna do, if you like, now hold the legs here, it's eight total, eight total uh, presses. So follow me, hammer, hammer, and crush. Two, hammer, four, yes, short sets. One more, because we're doing that hold. Oh, okay. Yes, good, come on up. All right, it's so intermediate. It's not the, we don't wanna go crazy with these. All right, guess what? It's those rows. It's those rows, rows with the plank. Okay, so let's do it. Let's do it. Renegade rows. All right, get ready. On those toes or on those knees and go. Yes, there we go. Good, we've just got two more sets. Just two more. Oh, and we're going to oh, get down onto our backs. Get ready for those hammer presses. Arms wide, palms facing in. Maybe the legs are up. Oh, I've engaged the abdominals. Let's go. Hammer and crush. Six. Just want to get it done today. Some days are just like that, right? Let's do two more for bonus. Come on. Two and one. Okay. Guess what? I said three sets in the beginning, didn't I? So what we're going to do is go all the way back from the top. Don't you dare stop. You're coming with me. We all hate three sets. Two sets is a, is a great number, but three, three is even better. So come with me on these. I'm gonna move my mat out of the way for a second. And remember, we're gonna go right here around the world. We're gonna keep everything short. Let's do everything in sixes because we're gonna make it through this. All right, let's grab our lighter weights. All right, I've got my fives. You can have your threes, you can have nothing. Ready? Okay, here we go, pinkies up. Rotate, and let's go. One, lunge, two, lunge, rotate down. Remember this? Okay, let's do that again. Two lunges back. That's already two down. We just need four more and we don't have to see this again. Oh. Eyes stay up. I wanna feel great after this workout and I want you to too. Good, we've got two more. Two more of these. Oh. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, good. All right. Shake it out a little bit. Shake it out. Remember those reverse rows? Let's grab heavier weight. All right, our palms are gonna face forward. All right, we're coming forward. Palms face forward, bending forward, and then pull. Five, I said in sixes, real quick. Three, last two, last one. Oh, okay, good. All right, we're gonna do those rows forward, those lunges forward with a row. So we grab one single weight, it's gonna bust a move through these. See how fast these are going, we know what's going on. Opposite leg lunges forward, and we're gonna get that row. Six, get ready. Let's go. Six. Breathing. Chest stays up. Good, and let's take it to the other side. Get ready, eyes up, breathing, catching your breath, and let's go. Good, here's four more. Tighten those abdominals, but be able to three, breathe through them. One, oh, okay. Here we go to those flies, ooh, here we go. Lightweight, fives or threes, just six. We can do it. Grab, grab that mat. Flies and plank. Okay. You're gonna be here, you're gonna be here, or you're gonna be on your toes. Six total flies. Ready? Okay, let's go. Breathing. Yes. Okay. Oh, see how fast that went? Oh, we're almost there. We can do this. We've got four more exercises. Come on up. Six, six, six. Magic number six. Let me go down and wait. My shoulders are getting tired. We're going to do those lateral raises with the knees up, get ready. Bend those arms. Okay, here we go. Up, rotate, knee, knee, and down. That's one. Uh, rotate, knee, knee. Doesn't matter which knee comes up first. That's two. Uh, remember that 90 degree angle. Okay, with those arms, we've got three more. Two more. Oh, okay. Lighter weights today. Lighter weights because of the hard, hard movements. And relax. Oh, good. Okay, I'm gonna put those down. Get ready for tricep kickbacks. All right, with those leg raises. Now I did eights last time. Arms are getting tired. And so I'm gonna grab my fives. Okay. All right, taking those arms back. One leg back, all right? Some of you are gonna wanna be all the way here. Some of you are gonna keep that toe down the whole time. Get ready, I'm finding a happy medium. Ready, six, let's go. Okay, here we go. Four, eyes up, two, and one. Oh, and relax, it feels easy compared to the other ones, right? Okay, take that leg back, arms back. Let's do it. Five, keep the toes down. Two, and one, okay. Uh, relax it and let's go ahead. We're going down to the ground. No more standing exercises. Get ready for that plank row. 
All right, and then the hammer presses. I'm grabbing my eight. Eights, tens, twelves are pretty good for these. So let's go. Getting ready for those rows with the elbow to the knee. Get ready. Okay, hands right under. I've got my eights in hand. Maybe you stay on your knees modified and maybe you don't bring that elbow to the knee. All right? Okay, here we go. Two, an elbow to the knee. Come on. Do it again, row. Again. Let's do two more. Come on. Oh, okay. A little bonus. A little bonus there. All right, let's go down to the ground. Whew. Last exercise. <laughs> okay. Hammers with a crush press and maybe engaging those abdominals. Palms facing, legs may be up, may be lowered. Make sure that lower back stays on the ground. Ready? Here we go. Hammer and crush. Three, four, five, easy peasy. Six, that's it. Relax. Oh, we don't have to push that hard. Oh, shake those hands out, shake those knees side to side, relax those arms. Just getting it done today. Some days are just, are just like that where you just want to get it done. You want to do a great job with it, and we did. But you don't want to push too, too hard. Let's bring one knee in towards the chest, straighten the other leg, stretching out the hip flexor on that side. And then let's take it right back to the other side. Knee in, flexing that foot that's down on the straight leg and stretching that hip flexor deep within here. Nice and simple. And let's switch it again, this time pulling the nose up towards the knee if you can. And then switch, bring it in, nose towards the knee. And then relax it, bring both knees in towards the chest, hug it in. And then go ahead and straighten those legs Straighten the arms, grab one wrist with the other hand and pull that arm across, just stretching out that arm, side of the body. And then go ahead and take the other wrist and pull it across the body the other way. Oh, good, and relax it out. Go ahead and bend one knee, straighten one leg up, and grab anywhere behind the leg that you can reach comfortably. So there should be nothing of this. Comfortably reach that back of the leg. You can grab all the way up, you can grab the toe, no problem. Keep that foot flex, make sure you're not reaching too hard. Uh, point that toe, roll it around. Roll it the other way and relax it, shake that out and then take it to the other side. Just going one and the other and then flex that foot. Ooh, this one's a little tighter on me. And then point that toe, roll that foot around, roll it the other way. Good, and release it out. And then go ahead and straighten one leg, keep one knee bent, pull it in a little bit, maybe raise it up, maybe keep it on the floor. It depends on how it feels on your back. 
Open those arms up out to the side and then go ahead and pull that knee across. Feeling a nice stretch in the chest as well as in the lower back. And then come back to center. Switch. Maybe the foot's down, maybe it's up. I'll keep it down this time. And I'm just going to turn it across. Maybe bring one arm to meet it. Depends on how the back feels. Find what works, find the area that works. And then come back to center. Okay, bring those knees in, rock yourself up. Oh, okay. And let's just stretch out those, um, those triceps. Sit any which way you need to. I'm gonna sit right on my ankles for now. And I'm gonna take one arm up, let it drop. Keep my chest up nice and tall, head up nice and tall. Yes, and then relax it and take it to the other side. Good, taking those breaths as needed, and then relax it, roll those shoulders back, round that neck to one side, and then to the other. Ah, oh, and relax. Oh, great job, give yourselves a big inhale, and exhale. See you at the next one.